Okay, it's 2012. We've had a very early spring this year. Spring was running uh, probably a month ahead of normal. And so that pushes our crop development very early. And when crops develop early, we're at increased risk of uh, freeze conditions during the spring. And so what we had in early April 2012 was some very cold conditions. Uh, one night of 25, another night of 27. And that normally wouldn't be a problem at that time of the year because the crops aren't very well developed. This year, the crops were highly developed. We had flowers um, out at that time, almost a petal fall on, on these apples. And so the crops at that stage are very susceptible to freeze conditions. So we can see some damage on this flower cluster. Here we've got a damaged leaf. We can see some uh, damaged petals. But really what we're interested in is the receptacle, which is going to grow into the fruit, which is this area uh, just below the flower. And so we need developing seeds within that receptacle in order to get fruit set. If those seeds are damaged or if the ovary is damaged and we don't get seed set, then that fruit is not going to develop. It's going to die and drop off. So how do we assess that? Well, let's pick a few flowers. And what we're going to do is cut those flowers in half. And this can be done with a pocket knife, a razor blade, or you can just pick, uh, pick them apart with your fingers. And so here we can see a damaged flower. You can clearly see that the inside of this flower is brown, and that indicates it's dead. Just because the tissue around the outside is green uh, doesn't really help us much because it's the seeds and developing embryo in the middle of the flowers that we need to be alive in order to get uh, fruit set and, and fruit development. Uh, here it's clearly dead. So any kind of browning or blackening of those tissues indicates that it's dead. And this will typically show up about 24 hours or so after the frost. So you need to wait a little while after the freeze conditions um, to assess the damage. So even when we have flowers in this flowering stage, we can still assess damage and, and you can still get damage from those. So exactly the same procedure. We'd take a flower off, we're going to cut it to assess the receptacle. And on this flower, you can clearly see the receptacle is dark brown or black, um, where the ovary and developing seeds are going to be. And so that indicates that this flower is killed. Uh, even though it's got brown, uh, bright green tissue uh, around the base of that, because the, the seed cavity where those seeds are going to be, because that's all dead, then this is not going to develop anymore. So to assess flower damage, obviously we want to cut some flowers in half, but if we're in a large orchard, or even just in a couple of trees in a home garden, we want to sample enough flowers so we get a pretty clear picture of what our likely crop is going to be. And so you want to sample different parts of the orchard, uh, different parts of the tree. Sometimes the top of the tree will have live flowers and the bottom part will be dead where the cold air is settled in the bottom of the, of the uh, orchard. And so typically we'd want to assess 20 or 30 flowers at least. And in that 20 or 30 flowers, if you find even a couple of live flowers, you're probably in good shape to have a good crop. You only need about 10% live flowers to produce a good crop. Um, and if 50% uh, if of the flowers are dead, you're in pretty good shape. 